This is for the vacant 125 pound amateur title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Isaac Orozco! Isaac Orozco coming to the cage, a record of two and one, fighting out of Northfield, Minnesota. You know, it's funny when we're sitting here cage side, how many people will come up, say hi to us, talk to us, all that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Great to see Jose Guzman here. I haven't seen I him love that in guy, a little man. while. He's a good dude. Cow. Great dude. And such such a good dude to be around. If you don't know who he is, I mean, is a guy who trains boxers, and um, his son is a boxer yep. as well. Yep. And um, one thing, Jose's pretty inspirational. He's in his 50s. Dude is cut. I, mean, I he know. He looks like he could step I into know. a ring right Great now. Great <laughs> Unbelievable. Mosiah Clark! Mosiah Clark is looking to put a streak together. In his career, it hasn't happened too often. It's one down, one up, one down, one up. And right now the record's standing at four and three, trying to get to that kind of magical number of five amateur wins where yep. you get to and say, okay, now I'm ready to be a pro, right? Yeah, he's there. I mean, he's ready to become a pro. You know, he's never, he never shies from a tough fight. You know, he has another tough fight tonight. And I think he's gonna do his thing. He has got a lot of support here from the faithful at the Monona Terrace, which by the way, if you have never been here for a fight, if you've only known the Chosen Few Fighting Championships by watching it over the years, um, that's one thing. And it's exciting for sure. Being here in person is a totally different experience. Oh yeah. And man, oh man, I mean, this crowd is electric. The venue is as good as you're gonna get right on the shores of Lake Monona. I mean, it is just a fun atmosphere to be in and always a good time when you come out to the Chosen Few Fighting Championships. It's always sold out, so when you see the tickets come up for sale, get them right away, you're gonna miss out. Hey, okay. As we look at the, the tail tape. of the tape right now, Mosiah Clark and Isaac Orozco. As you see Clark entering the cage, Mosiah only listed at 5-3, you got Orozco at 5-8. Clark gives up height to everybody, but that doesn't oh, yeah. matter for him, right? He's a thick boy, low center of gravity. Are you ready? You see the belt that is on the line first. as well. First of all, this is a 125 pound title fight, amateur MMA, brought to you by Tom Gullickson Incorporated. Three, three minute round. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Northfield, Minnesota, representing the Academy, Isaac Orozco! <laughs> Standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also weighing in at 125 ready pounds. Fighting out of Madison, Wisconsin, representing Capital City MMA and chosen few fight team, Mosiah Clark. Now this and crowd is in full throat and getting into it oh here yeah. tonight as they are cheering on Mosiah Clark here in this 125 pound amateur title fight always exciting when there is a strap on here the line go. and the first of two title fights for Ooh. us here tonight as both guys starting off Good quickly by Clark down. getting a takedown and then a quick break Ooh. as it looks like Orozco took a shot to the area you don't want to take a shot to. That happened quickly. And Orozco. So fast didn't even see it. Yeah, I didn't either. And he gets five minutes to try and recover. I tell you what, Clark was in there quickly. And 
Not sure if it was a knee that got him or what hit him there, but I tell you what, it, it, it was an elbow right to that area. Man, oh, man, that is not good. For those of you that are female and watching our broadcast, you might not understand what's going on here, but man, oh, man, it'll drop you in a hurry whenever this happens, and it takes a while to kind of get your breath back as well. As you see, Orozco working on his breathing right now. Yeah, yeah. Shake it off. Trying to get back into it now. So when, when this happens, how hard is it to actually refocus uh, uh, when, when you're in the cage? Uh, you know, <laughs> it, could take a, it could take a while, you know, depending on how hard you got hit. Oh, my goodness. So I think it was a knee. Yeah, everybody kind of groaning uh, up there right now. As it looked like maybe it was a right knee that went right to the groin of Orozco. Seems to be gaining his strength back slowly but surely here. It's really hard to explode, I can tell you that right now. It's hard to move. Seems like he's going to take his time, though. No. And why not? I mean, I would take as much of it as I could. I want to be sure I'm ready to go and refocus after that happens. I don't know if if any of you have ever seen fights where this happens, sometimes it's it's hard to bounce back, but it's actually his corner right now that's kind of redirecting him, getting him focused again. He's over near enough where he could hear his corner talking to him, and they're saying, all right, come on now, ready to go. So they're trying to change his mentality here more than anything else and get him refocused on this fight. Yeah, and it seems like he's getting back to his wits. You know, he's shaking it off. You know, take, the, take those full five minutes. You know, it can happen pretty fast, you know. It sucks, you know, he wasn't able to get no momentum going, you know, so that's where it can get kind of frustrating, you know, he was able to get no momentum going, but pretty much the fight's starting all over again for him. And the other thing, too, I mean, as a fighter, you don't want to get cold. Getting cold is a problem. That is a problem. And it's a problem for Mosiah Clark right now, too. I mean, there's another guy who does not want to get cold. Seems to be doing all right. Off in the neutral corner, if there is a corner in a round cage. Here we go. And now it looks like both guys are ready once again. Orozco is shaking it off. Still has another minute told here by our referee, Tom DeVilba, so doesn't have to quite get going just yet. I always forget that, like, I should probably pull my phone out when this happens <laughs> and get that timer going, right? Right. I mean, I know the official timekeeper is taking care of that for us, but... I'd like to know myself where we're at on all of this. Crowd trying to urge him on as well. They want to see a fight. Yes, they do. Again, one of two title fights that we have, both in the amateur ranks. Coming up right after this one, Maxine Netter against Juanita Shingles. They're fighting for 145 fight. pound. Yeah, title right there. Now the crowd's getting a little restless, and Orozco says it's time to go. All right. Here we go. Back at it. Only 11 seconds had ticked off the clock to start this fight. And Clark oh, now. he's hurt. Landing a shot that I think, yeah, hurt Orozco. Hurt. Was his shoulder? Yeah. He kind of cowered back, like, immediately and was favoring, I think it was his left shoulder. It looks like he might be hurt. Clark trying to take advantage right now on top and looking to get that right hand free which he finally does so he's able to get a couple of blows in what a tough start to this fight for isaac orozco yeah he's definitely got some adversity he's got he's facing right now now a couple hammer blows with the left hand from mosiah clark who's smelling that strap means a lot for a fighter to get a title, especially your first one. Flyweight champion is about to be crowned here. Crowd now erupting into a let's go Clark champ. Or is it let's go Mo? Let's go Mo. Let's go Mo. That's what it is. Pro Mo crowd. They are indeed. And Mo right by his corner there. You see... Kane Rizzo, Damian Decora, they're all smiles right now. Things are going well for their fighter in there. Looking for the finish. 
No stoppage as Mark of Coleman yet. style. Mosiah Clark. In. Yeah, he just keeps on. Little Mix Mo <laughs> looking for the finish. Continues to dish it out and not much of a response for a Looking to get a fight. belt. Looking to get a belt right here. Looking to get a belt. Be yep. And new. And new champion. Little Mix Mo. Josiah Clark even gets a good reaction. We have a new champion. Alton Cunningham, I love it. As we have a new champion. <laughs> we have a new champion. He is getting little mix both. It's just a rough night for Isaac Orozco all night long. I think he hurt his shoulder. Um, he yeah, definitely looked. He's grabbing. He's pointing at his shoulder right now, which is unfortunate because I mean he. I mean he dealt with adversity to start that fight, so that's kind of. You know, First with he that, took a knee to the groin, then his shoulder. It looks like he blew his shoulder out. Yeah. Held on as long as he could as we check out the replay as Mosiah Clark getting his first title right there. I'm not sure what actually happened to cause the damage to the shoulder, but it almost looks like it popped out. And then that was it. Referee stopping the fight. About a minute left there as Mosiah Clark is gonna get the strap as soon as Ken Bostetter makes it official. Your referee, Tom Devalis, has called a halt to this contest. Two minutes, two seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO and new 125 pound title fight contender champion. Mosiah Clark. Clark gets the strap. He is all smiles and let's hear from the new champ. You did this, you did this up in uh, on Alaska too, didn't you? Yes, sir. First, I just want to thank God. I want to thank my friends, my family, my girlfriend. I got the best support system. <laughs> Man alive. It went really fast in the beginning. There was the incidental knee to the groin. It happened so fast, I don't think we saw it until we saw the replay. Yeah, I'm a little short, you know. My knee can't get up to the stomach, I guess. <laughs> That's the way it happens sometimes, right? But, I mean, it looked like maybe he hurt his shoulder there towards the end. I, I don't know, but uh, you just didn't let up. You guys know I don't say much in front of the mic. <laughs> I do gotta take a piss though. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take your piss and I appreciate you. <laughs> Mosiah Clark's gonna run off to the bathroom now to celebrate his title victory. So congratulations to Mosiah Clark. Hey, don't go anywhere. We got another title fight straight ahead on TBW. <laughs> 